So here is one of the easiest solar fountains you're gonna make out of a shoe box. You don't even have to do anything, no wires or nothing. You can pick it up and move it. Now I know I told you the Orioles loved it and this was designed by me for Orioles, but the house finches came in and yes, even the doves came in to take a bath and get a drink. And then later on, I saw goldfinches. They absolutely love this, but I told you no hummingbirds. I lied, I was wrong. To my surprise, look at this. The Oriole was there taking a bath, just drying off after he was finished and a hummingbird was flying by and said, wait a minute, this looks like something I can use. Taking a quick look at it, he decided, yep, it was time for me to take a bath. So I'm sorry to have lied, didn't mean to, but let's go in and let me show you how easy it is to make this simple water fountain that you can just put anywhere you want, as long as it gets sun. Let's go get this done. I know we wanna just watch this little guy stand there and splash. So for this bird bath, we're going to use the solar powered fountain kit that comes in the round disc, this is it, that floats. There's no panel. The panel, the solar fountain panel is on the top and if it has a film, which is just a shipping protective cover, remove it. Some come with it, some don't. So if you see it's there, just take it off because it will bake in the sun onto the panel and it could ruin it. I have a whole box opening on this. And the only parts we're gonna use are those two parts with this. Now for the water, I'm using a plain old shoe box. We won't need the lid. Don't throw it away, you may find something to do with it, but we won't need the lid at all for this. We're just gonna use the shoe box. Now I made a template of the top of the shoe box. See how that is? Not the bottom, the top part. And I cut it out with cardboard. I'm using these foam sheets. Just so happens I had this here. I will give you a alternative method later. This way you can use something else if you don't want to use the craft foam sheet. Now here I'm going to cut this with that template I did. And this is the size of the top of the shoe box, but dropped inside. So when you drop it in, it won't go all the way to the bottom because the shoe box is slightly tapered. It wouldn't matter, even if it's not tapered, you want it to fit towards the top of the shoe box. Now I took a pen and I'm marking it out carefully. And now we're just gonna simply cut the pattern out all the way around. Now you'll see that when you sit it in the box, it's not gonna lay flat on the bottom. Like I said, it's tapered. It's narrower on the bottom of the shoe box and it's wider on the top. You can use anything, but I'm using a shoe box today. So just kind of keep that in mind. All right, that's exactly what I want. Now I'm gonna take my floating solar fountain. I'm gonna turn it upside down because it's too hard with the motor to do it any other way. And you just mark out the circle carefully and now you see what we've got. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to cut out along the line, but I don't wanna cut off the, everything on the edge. You'll kind of see when I cut it. You wanna leave a little bit so it's still one piece. See, just a little bit on each side around the circle. See how it fits? Perfect. This is exactly what we're going for. Now here comes the fun part. Okay, so you can see it's not gonna lay flat on the bottom because again, it's gonna float to the top, but it won't stay that way. And we cannot let it cover that panel because on the top, all the way around, is your solar panel, not the center. See where you can see a little bit of faint lines? We can't cover any of that. So now we're gonna do magic to make that thing float and stay where we want it to stay. How are we gonna do that? because that's just gonna be all over the place. Well, this is what I'm gonna show you next. And keep in mind where you drew the line, so you can see it, turn that upside down so you don't see it. So it will float nice and clean looking. Now Dollar Tree 99 cent store, a lot of stores carry skewers. They're bamboo skewers and you get like 50 of them for a dollar. I am now gonna poke that where the foam is, the floating solar fountain disc has foam, that's what keeps it floating. People throw it in their pool or a pond. We're going to stick the skewers in there and we're gonna kind of decide what size it is. See what we're doing? Very carefully, stick it in there and line it out. And the bamboo skewers, they're so soft. All you're gonna do is snap them, pull it out and snap it. And then you just make another one for the other side. Now I'm gonna end up putting four of them in here 
and look how they just go into the foam. Now what they're gonna do when that disc is floating in the water, it's gonna hold it in place. It's gonna keep it from bouncing all over and yet the bird can't get into the shoe box. So the water is gonna run on that drip all over that and go back into the shoe box. But you're going, wait a minute, it's gonna spray all over. We'll get more into that later. So now you just repeat on the other side. You stick another one in there, you measure it and snap them. Again, get these at the dollar store, they're cheap. I use them for all kinds of things, even in the garden. And you just mark it and snap off the size. But look how it's gonna hold it up. Like I said, we're gonna put four of them in there at the end. If you wanna put more than four, go ahead. But two won't hold. On both sides, they'll be flopping in the water. So four, I have found, is perfect. So just make four skewer sticks, same size, just like we did, and boom, we've got four. And look how perfect it will hold that up. See, you lay that on there and it's not going anywhere. It's just gonna float in the water and then the water's gonna dribble back into the shoebox. Now, if you didn't wanna use the foam, guess what? Yes, that's a shipping package. You know how they're like a bubble wrap? You can use that, I have too. Same thing, you make your pattern, you just go all the way around, you line it out. You'll have the cardboard, but here I'm just using the one I just made. You make the circle, cut everything out, and then you've got your top layer. It could be anything that will float. And let me tell you something. Those envelopes that are like bubble wrap, they are perfect. They want to float. So all you have to do is put that in there and you'll have this if you don't have the craft foam or you want to recycle. It works perfect. Either one will work. So now we're going to set it up outside. You're going to take your shoe box, which you've already rinsed and cleaned first, and now we're just going to fill it with water. Tap water is fine. Don't forget, they're in the gardens going in all our water. And now see what the four skewers there? It can't bump around. It can't move from one side to the other. It is stationary. And now you're gonna put your top on. Now I'm gonna show you a couple different ways of setting this up. This is simply the bubbler. It's not gonna spray and you can use that. That is perfect. The Orioles love it, so do all the birds. As you can see, we have a semi-cloudy day and it's still running pretty good. So if it gets really bright, sometimes it can overflow your container. This particular attachment shouldn't. Now see, this is a sprayer. Now the sprayer will splash too much and you could end up getting an oversplash if it's really bright and sunny. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix that and why you may wanna use that Maybe attachment over the bubbler. Now that's the bubbler and I'm gonna put it back for now. If you are strictly putting this out for Orioles and house finches and other birds you've got in the area, not hummingbirds, this one's perfect. You're done. It should not overflow and you can keep your shoe box pretty much almost full to the top. And look at that. You're ready to go. But I want to set this up for some hummingbirds that fly by. And I like the height on this, but it sprays too much. And hummingbirds don't like a heavy spray anyways. So let's get this fixed. So maybe some hummingbirds can come visit this water fountain too. So here for a perch, I'm using a toothpick and I'm just cutting off the tips and make sure it's nice and flat. That's perfect. Now you have a perch and you'll see what we're gonna do with that in a minute. Now that piece that has lift, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. With a hot soldering iron, and I normally wouldn't do it like this, I do it carefully on a table, I'm gonna make a bunch of holes all the way around. And if you have to, you can go back and make more holes. I'm also making holes on the side. I'm giving more places for the water to get out so it won't be shooting up and around, but it will just kind of dribble out. And I made a hole also to slide in my toothpick. Look at that. Now there's a little perch if a hummingbird wants to come visit. The little bubbler, which was fine for Orioles, there was really no place to put a perch. That's why I used the lift. It's a little higher and it will kind of give a different flow. So now I'm gonna take that bubbler off, which you can use, that is perfect. You can use nothing if you want to and it just dribble out. But this way it's above the water and the hummingbirds won't have to get into the water, but they can sit on top and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's gonna float and the skewers are gonna hold it in place and now you put your mat back and now you've got a beautiful water feature for any little bird that wants to come visit. It's not gonna get splashed. They can get into the water as they need. Isn't that something? And remember, the circle around is your solar panel, so you don't wanna block that with anything. 
and now the water is going back into the shoebox. You can't beat it. You can't get anything cheaper than that. A shoebox for a dollar, a couple skewers, and look at that. Isn't that beautiful and so easy to clean? Totally portable, no wires, no solar panel. You just lift it and move it around. Why not put some flowers and different things around it and make it more inviting for the birds to come in? Plus, it'll look pretty. Isn't that nice? Can't get anything easier than this. And the birds love fresh water. And remember, moving water brings more birds because they can hear it from very far away and they know that sound means water. Now here I'm gonna show you a couple other ways we can do this. It might be easier for you because we have so many attachments. So I end up using different attachments. So you can use nothing if you want. This is a jumbo straw. You can get it at almost any grocery store and they're cheap. You get a whole bag for a dollar or two. Now what you're gonna do is cut it to the height you want. Now don't go too high because this particular fountain is not, the motor is not that powerful. That should be about good enough. Otherwise it may not make it to the top. Now what you're gonna do here is you're going to take a straw and this is a piece that's been cut in half. Note that that piece fits inside the straw now because you slid it. Now what we're doing is we need to make the straw fit and the straw is bigger than the top there of the fountain where it attaches to. It just won't sit on there, it's just gonna fall off. In other words, the opening of the straw is too big to attach. But by adding an extra layer on the inside, another piece of straw, you now make it nice and snug. You could even use two pieces if it needed it. And now it's not gonna come off because you've made a really good snug fit. And now you just put it back together like you had it before. It's gonna float there and it's got a little bit more lift for the hummingbirds. And remember, any bird can still use it. They don't care how to get on it. Look at the goldfinches. They were using it and they love that lift because they can see the water and it gives them something to land on. And a lot of these the attachments are different sizes. If you have to make the straw smaller, make a slit and then gently squeeze on that top. Look at that. So I had started out saying this was made for Orioles because they love standing on top of that mat and splashing and splashing in the water, but many other birds have been coming to it. Oh, and by the way, I have one more tip. We'll be getting to that in a second. You may need that. The house finches love it. They come and drink. Look how they can step on the mat. It goes down a little bit, but don't forget, birds can actually swim pretty good. If they hit that water, they can get out. And they love this. This little females, she's been coming along with others and they just get in there and they clean themselves so good. And then the male house finch, he came along and he checked it out and thought, wait a minute, this is pretty good. And you know what was funny? When he left, this is one tired little bird he brought his siblings back and he was teaching them where the water was. It was so cute and so adorable. There was a few different babies there screaming. They didn't know what to do with the water yet, not much. But the hummingbirds, they continue to come. I just haven't had my good camera out when they're there, but I have been catching them on the security camera, which was just too cute. Here's the last tip I'll give you for today. Now, sometimes when the sun is really bright, the pump can really take off and start shooting water. Well, this is one simple, easy fix. A little piece of wood or rock, something light. All you have to do is put it on one of those solar panels. You'll see it's all the way around and adjust it to the way you want it. This is amazing absolutely easy. See, if you don't have it on enough of the panel, then the water will continue to shoot. But if you move it over, the water will be perfect. And even though with the water pumping up high, it still doesn't come out of the shoebox since it's going up and down. I just like to slow it down when needed for the hummingbirds because they are just too fun when they come in and sit on top and just give a good scrub. And let me tell you something, some of these take a bath for three minutes. It's really long and it's just too fun to watch. So I hope I gave you another idea on a solar fountain that is so easy, so versatile, because you can easily change it around, use all the different attachments, whatever you feel like using, and you can pick that up and move it. And you know what? You can sit it on a table and put flowers all the way around or on a balcony. 
You can put it anywhere. If you don't like where it is, pick it up and move it. It doesn't weigh much at all, and the birds love it. So with that, have a wonderful day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. This is just too cute. Bye-bye.